Welcome to our Blender tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to create procedural holes in Blender's shader editor. You heard it right, no geometry, only shading. In general, we want to create many lined up black circles that we can use then as an alpha channel map, which will make the shading transparent at those spots. If you are super lazy, you could just draw black circles on a white background and use this image as an alpha map. But I will show you the procedural approach. So let's get started. I will show the shading on a plane for an easier understanding. Because we are getting into math now. At first, create a texture coordinate node to access the UV vectors. Then use a vector math multiply by 10 to increase the range of the UV vectors. Before it was from 0 to 1 on each axis and now it's from 0 to 10. So one side of the plane represents 10 units. Then we use a mathematic operation called modulo. This operation calculates the remainder after a division. When we make the operation x modulo 1, we divide every pixel of the x axis by 1 and the remainder of this is the new result. Because we multiplied every axis by 10, this results in repeated 0 to 1 patterns along both axes. That's because every time we hit an integer like 1, 2 or 3, the remainder becomes 0. Because every integer can be divided by 1 without remainder. So we have now 0 to 1 ranges consecutively, 10 times in summary. We do this with the x and y axis at the same time, so we get these repeating square patterns. Now we want to create a circle in the center of each of these little 0 to 1 squares. We do this by a vector math distance node with 0.5 value. By this we create a circular gradient with x 0.5 and y 0.5 as the center. Because we have this several times on the UV map, we get a lot of dots, 100 to be precise. Now we can control the gradients with a color ramp. If we switch it to constant, we get a hard edge. Now we have what we wanted, a map with a lot of black circles for the alpha channel. If you are fine with this lined up dot pattern, you are basically finished here. You can plug this image to the alpha channel of a principal BSDF node and you have the desired effect. If you want a hole pattern which has an offset on every other line, like this gun muzzle, continue the shading tree with the following. In general, we want every other line pushed half a unit to the side. Let's get started by selecting the y-axis of the UV space with a separate XYZ node. Now we need a math multiply to get half of the units and multiply it with the separate XYZ node. To make things easier, I create a value node and connect it to the multiply node from before and the new multiply node. Because they are dependent on each other, it's easier to use the same value for both. Now this value represents the size of the whole dot grid. By now we have a range from 0 to 5 on the y-axis, because we halved it in the step before. Now we again make a modulo operation with 1, then we get 5 areas with the range from 0 to 1. If we make now a math greater than operation, we get 10 alternating stripes. Black is 0 and white is 1, so when we multiply this by 0.5, the white areas become 0.5. Now we only have to convert this value in a vector with the value on the x-axis. We do that with a combine xyz node. Now this whole shifting construct has to be connected in the dot pattern tree before the modulo with a vector math add node. And now we are completely finished. This is a fully procedural hole shader. With the color ramp you can control the size of the holes and with the value node the size of the pattern. Have fun shading and see you soon.